Catholic, and she became Muslim. So you, you pray to Mary? For supplication. Yeah. Did Mary did that to herself? Did Mary pray to herself or pray to God directly? To God. Did Jesus pray to himself or to God or to his mother? To the Father. Okay. So you don't follow Jesus. You don't follow Mary. You follow him, your, your, your priest. You know, what's your name? Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Noah. No, Noah. Noah. Noah, that's a good name. My name's Shemsi. Noah, when you look to Christianity, they don't not really follow Jesus anymore. Like Catholic, they, they follow their saints. And the born again Christian, they follow Paul. That's why, what do you know about Islam, Noah? What do you know that? How many gods we worship as a Muslim? One God. Do you know that God that we worship? Do you know him? As in Allah. Yeah, do you know how do you know how Allah described himself? Allah said, Allah is one. Allah is one. Say Allah is one. Allah is one. Master, self-sufficient, is not in need of nothing. Everything is in need of him. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He begat not, neither was he begotten. Wa lam yakul lahu kufu wa ahad. There is nothing like unto Allah. That's, that, that's a perfect. Don't worry, I'm used to it. I'm Algerian. He's going to be scared of me. Uh, the Allah, the way Allah describes himself, perfect. But when it comes to Christianity, you have the Father, is God. Jesus is God. The Holy Spirit is God. Three gods. Doesn't make any sense. I mean, you're free to believe that. That is a why. No, no, but I'm, I'm not saying, listen, I'm not saying about free or charge. Yeah? But I'm saying, God will judge you. And we are here to, uh, like Jesus, when he came to the Jewish people, he didn't just tell them you're free while you believe. He told them the truth. Huh? So that's what we're doing. We, are, we want good for you, Noah. We want you to be true followers of Jesus. And in order for you to be true followers of Jesus, you have to follow who? Quran, Prophet Muhammad. Huh? Jesus. Yeah, but we can Okay, hold on the Bible. What is the earliest manuscript of the Bible? As in the oldest book. Yeah, no, no. You know the Bible that we have now? King James, ESV, all the other... I don't touch those. I use the Jerry's version. No, no, regardless what you use. It's based upon the manuscript. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so you got the Greek, Hebrew... And yeah, what is the earliest manuscript? What, what is the earliest manuscript we have for the New Testament? Full one. What is the earliest manuscript we have? Full one. As in, in the separate languages altogether? No, no. I don't the, know about the separate languages. I know together you've got the Latin Vulgate, which was translated by St. Jerome in 380. No, that's what, you, that's what is being claimed. But the earliest manuscript, you have the full one, is 700 years after. You don't have... You, we let me don't have clear. the Latin Vulgate. You don't have the original writing. You don't have the original don't writing. don't have the original Latin. Yes, writing, you don't. For example, Aristotle, yes? Aristotle's writing is not original. It was written after him. It's not his own writing. When it comes to the Bible, John, Luke, Matthew, Mark, these writers, we don't have the original writing. Do you understand? Yeah. We don't have that. Because why? The, like I said, the earliest manuscript that we have, the full one, there is small, small size one, like between after 300 years, 400, the full one is even after Prophet Muhammad. We don't know who wrote it. There's no claim. We cannot trace it back. So how can you trust a book like that? We don't know. Like, you know the Quran? The Quran, Noah, one of the miracles of the Quran, Allah made it easy for us to memorize it. That's why if the Jewish, the Christians, the Muslims, all of them decide to burn the scriptures, the only scripture will remain with us is the Quran. Do you know why? Because we have memorized it word for word, letter for letter. That's why we'll never lose the Quran. Until Allah from the day of judgment, Allah will raise it. But the point here is, you have a book that claims to be from God. We cannot trace it back. We don't know who wrote it. We have another book. We can trace it back. And we know who wrote it. We know the biographies. Also, there's a miracle in there. You know, if you notice, Christianity is dying in the Western world. Why? What do you think that? What do you think Christianity is declining? And Islam is inclining? What do you think? Because the devil is attacking the church. Huh? Because the devil is attacking the church. No, the, 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 to be honest, out of respect, Christian is, Christianity is part of the corruption. 
of the system. Do you know why? I'll tell you why. Because you have problem with transgender, yeah? Transgender. But you have no problem to say God was God and a man at the same time. So the transgender can tell you, listen, if you accept God to be God and a man at the same time, I'm a man and woman at the same time. You see, you open this door for them, you are helping them to open this door. If they say you have no problem for God, the Almighty. Let me get this right. 2,000 year gap. 2,000 years ago, we claimed that God became a man. And now you have man who wants to become women. Women who want. Yeah, because for that 2,000. That, that's tied into that history of 2,000 years ago. Yeah, because you know why? Because that 2,000, the Catholic that's or the a church. Really slow progression. No, no, no. It, it's no problem. Do you know why? Because the church was controlling the state. So they will not allow people to come out and say that. They will kill them. But when they became in a, in a, in a state, which is like democracy, or they just allowing them to speak, they had to come out and say it. So in the 400s, when, when Christianity, when Catholicism became the state religion of the Roman Empire, yeah. they tolerated transgenderism. No, I'm saying now, the, uh, transgender, they have argument against you. Know, you. Before Catholicism and before Christianity in the Roman Empire, they were sacrificing their own babies to pay to pay God. And yeah, then that but, but, after. but the Bible says that as well to kill your own babies. To, uh, the Bible said Jewish God said to God, God said to them the Israelites to smack their babies on the rock. Show you where that is. Yeah, we have the punishments. Huh? I mean, there's. I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, no, you don't know the Bible. It's true. It's, it's, it's like a punishment. God, yeah. even to eat feces. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't fix on my phone. Okay, I'm trying to. Can someone look for it in the Bible? Huh? What is it, sir? Uh, God, uh, God told the Israelites to smoke, smack their babies on the rock. Yeah, I'll get it for you. Huh? You wanna go? No. You wanna, you wanna go? Yeah. yeah, no, we can't hold you. We don't want to make you force like we are holding you. Something. Is it your friend? You uh, yeah. I'm saying we, if you want to, if, if you want to leave, just tell me. Don't feel like uh, pressured or something, all right? Yeah, I mean, I was having a conversation. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I came in. Sorry. Came in. Yeah, yeah, no problem. But your friends, you can have it after. Yeah. But we're not friends. We're just talking here. Yeah. Your friends in the discussion. Well, I want good for you. Inshallah, he's my Muslim brother. He can help you more. But you seem a nice guy, Noah. You seem like an honest guy, respectful guy. That's why I'm speaking to you. I want good for you. Oh, is it Isaiah, yeah? Is it one Isaiah or something? Yeah, babies smashed on the rocks while mothers and fathers watch houses, looted, wives raped. Is that it? I think that's the one. If you, but you try to get the whole context. Because yeah. the one There is one we go told them. Because remember, God, he was given very rough and a tough uh, a commandment to the Israelites. You know that? Yeah. So, to not miss my point, yeah? When I talk about transgender meaning, that if you, try, if you accept that God was a man and a God at the same time, the transgender will say, what is the problem for a man to be a woman and a man at the same time? If God the Almighty, so you are justifying what they're doing. If the Almighty was perfect, he has no beginning, no end, can be a man, can be a God and a man at the same time. So the transgender will tell you, yeah, I'm a man and a woman, which doesn't make any sense. Inshallah. Isaiah, check Isaiah. I remember this one, yeah. So what's good for you? You know, I'll tell you what is uh, Christian. Well, she's, he's reading it. He's gonna get for you. But, yeah, but is he using the right thing? Yeah, yeah, he's checking it, checking it. Tools.com, Isaiah 13. Yeah, check it. My point here is, look, do not misunderstand me. I'll tell you why Christianity is dying. Because Christianity, I have respect. Many youth in the Western world notice Christianity doesn't make sense. No, what? Uh, what did you find? Which one you found? Isaiah. Hey, 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 yeah. Isaiah. Isaiah 13, 16. Yeah, yeah. yeah, check it. So what I would say to you, look, Islam. Many people accept Islam. 